Those are the people. Okay. We had a big weekend of fights. So Brady decided that, you know, it's, you know, fuck it. We had, there was no fights. Brady thought there was no fights. We didn't talk about all the fights. Oh, guy, well, guy had a full moment. Yeah, but it was kind of a letdown overall. Uh, there was a pretty but decent good knockout. Stuff, Before we get into the fights, um, I just want to give uh, my condolences to the Letterman family for the passing of uh, HBO's expert analysis, Harold Letterman. You know Harold Letterman, right? Yeah. You guy was always talking. He'd be like, okay, Jim. I got a 29-28, three rounds to two. I mean, the guy couldn't score a fight for life depended on it, but he's an iconic voice in boxing, and he's a good man for the sport. It's too bad. So condolences to his family, and condolences to the Cooper family for the passing of um, perennial heavyweight contender, contender uh, Smoke and Burt Cooper. That's the one I was talking about. He was young. Yeah, he was born 66. What's that mean? Yeah, he was like 50 something. About 51. <laughs> You're younger than my dad, so he's 53. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Pretty pretty young, yeah. And he died of a heart attack or something. Whatever they died yeah. of, it's terrible. But yeah, um, we'll make sure to. I don't know, we're showing our respect for you guys. Yeah, yeah show it up. Um, you want to do performance of the week? Go ahead. Worst of the weeks? Yeah, so start off with worst of the week. Worst of the week. Fight of the week. The worst performance of the week. I gotta go Aldo and Volkanovski. Uh, I'd have to go with uh, the stoppage of Chandler and Frey. Okay. Uh, me. Because Aldo kind of got shut down in a way. He, but like, Volkanovski didn't do anything either. He landed a lot more. At least he was fighting. Um, the guy's coming off wins over Chad and freaking Jose. It's pretty. It is, it is. We'll get into it. Um, and then performance of the week, I give to Douglas Lima. Douglas Lima with the slap oh, right uppercut gosh. of all time. So right now, I think that's knockout of the year. Oh yeah, that was sure. insane. That freaking trip down and bop. Go to sleep, little boy. Go that was to sleep. insane. He was out for a bit, but then he cranked him twice with two hammers just to make sure he mashed him in nice. You that's know, crazy. If you saw he wasn't post- doing anything. That might have been like his first punch. Yeah, I don't think he, if you saw her post on uh, Instagram, I said Michael Venom Page got turned into a human slinky on this night. The oh, way yeah. his legs just bent back and like, oh my god, it was weird. Yeah. Um, and then fight of the week, Jared Heard Williams. Holy shit, that was a war. That was probably the fight of the, definitely my favorite fight this week. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, not even close. That was insane. Um, but yeah, let's recap the let's do the Bellator card first. Uh so Jack Hager. We, the people. I think the highlight of that fight was the, the guy's walkout. Yeah, the dancing. He's getting another fight in Bellator because no of way. Is, yeah. What did he last like forty seconds or something? Yeah. Oh, and he got he got what arm triangle? Yeah. Shout out to the beef uh, slaughterhouse dude. Forget his name. He's got a full time. Yeah, I think his name's Ty or something. I don't know. Yeah, his last name. I don't know. He's got a full time job. You know, he came in. I think he he had to cut weight. He's I don't know. He's like five nine, five ten maybe, and he's he walks like three twenty. He cuts two sixty five. <laughs> Just a mess. Um, the dance was crazy. It was funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, we had uh, the co-main event, which was Mako and a Page. We just talked about, which was the semifinal, one of the semifinal matches in the welterweight grand prix. We had a human slinky. Michael Venom Page was undefeated coming into that fight. Yeah. Um, I picked Lima to win. Yeah. Um, Aliba didn't look good though. He no. did nothing. I had Venom Page winning the first round, and he was winning the second round until the yeah. stoppage. I mean, I think if Lima, so Lima's gonna want to fight for the title. If Lima wins the title, I think they'll fight again. To be oh, they'll fight again one day. Yeah. Um. Then we have uh, the main event, which was a shit. Bro, they, did the punch hit him? Like I don't even. I think it grazed him and it knocked him down, and then he went to finish him, and he was getting back up, and the ref stopped it. But Chandler is chinny as fuck, man. He's so chinny. Yeah. Like, the thing is, he didn't even dispute it. Like, it didn't look like he was, like, upset about it, like, nothing. So, I mean, maybe he was out. He was disputing it at the post. Was he? Yeah. What yeah. was he saying? He said he got rocked for a second. That was it. So... So now you got Patricio Pitbull as the champ, champ, 145, 155. What, uh, where did those divisions go now? You're either going to have a rematch <laughs> or Benson Henderson rematch with Patricio Pereira. At, at 155? Yeah. Hmm. 
I think I'd rather see a rematch right away, to be honest. Yeah, the rematch needs to happen. Yeah. So, let's see if he vacates that lightweight belt. There's not much happening at lightweight, I mean, featherweight, sorry. So, yeah. he probably could keep both. They have two champ- champs there. Yeah. So does the UFC. Don't they? No, not right now. Oh, no, because D- like DC got stripped. Nunes. Yeah, Nunes is the only one. Yeah. True. Um, Kind of clogs up divisions. It does, but it, it makes legacies, though. That's true. Uh, okay, so then let's go to the boxing match. Good fight. Ooh, I was telling Brady all week. I'm like, man, this is gonna, this could be fight of the week. Bro. I want a rematch. What a war! Jared Hurd is a perennial slow starter, which I we had figured. I figured he would, mm-hmm. but he got hit way too much, way too often, way too hard. Early too. What did he get dropped in the third? Third round, yeah. And it was a he like he got dropped bad. Yeah, it was he was pretty bad. Badly hurt. But he came back strong, like, even after a knockdown like that. Like, that guy could take... How many punches did he take? I think they both took Learned over... Learned the block. They both took over 250 shots. It's insane. Oh, uh, like, Julian Williams can take a punch, too. That man got cracked with some Absolutely. shots. Uh, I scored it for, for Williams pretty... I think I gave it, like, 8 to 4, eight to four somewhere yes. around there. I had it 8 to 4, too. But I had a feeling the, rob, the, the boxing judges were going to just come out in full force and rob that man. Yeah, but... We got a rematch happen. I hope, or maybe we get um, we might get we might get Julian Williams to f- get the winner of Charlo versus Harrison too, which just got announced, which is another good fight coming up. That's a, a really good rematch, yeah, or an automatic rematch. Either way, I'm happy with that. Let's just get some unified belts, man. Let's just get all the belts in one guy's hand. That's how it has to happen. It has to be sick of this four belts, hundred percent. But I'm kind of happy that champions are losing because it takes away this whole negative connotation that a loss is the end of your career do you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's like okay you get a loss you can fight him again it doesn't your career is not over as long as you bounce back probably it's how you handle the loss yeah and jared Hurd will bounce back 100 percent. that's his first loss if you haven't checked out jared Hurd yet it, come on man his last four fights he's have been, young right he's like 27 so he's not in his prime yeah he's a kid so it's a learning lesson Overall, I think Jared Hurd would be the, is is the better fighter. I agree, but uh, he's had he a poor lost performance. Fight. Yeah, he could have woke it up, could have had a bad shit. Yeah, could have been a little constipated. Maybe he just had a moment like you, forgetting to talk about fights. Yeah, everybody has moments, but that's life. That's maybe why. maybe he was a little thrown off by these Paige Van Zandt photos every day. Paige Van Zandt. <sighs> he's looking first thick. team all thicky, second team all dime piece. Oh yeah. First team all time, because you know Rachel. I'm going to get that, uh... Rachel Ostevich. You getting the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Yeah? Um, I'm pretty sure Simone Biles is in that issue, too. You know who that is? No. The, uh, U.S. Olympian gymnast, the girl that, like, won, like, 14 medals last Olympics, hmm. whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. Got, like, the perfect score. I'm definitely about to buy it. I'll frame it up here. Frame it? I'll, I'll send one to Jordan, too. Shout out, you're getting up, Hey, Van Zandt. Magazine. I mean, do what you gotta do. So there's some good, uh, what are those things called? Foldouts? Yeah. <laughs> so when your wife doesn't give you any, you got some work to do. Um, Why are you going at him like that? I'm just messing with him. Um, well, wait, oh, tell us about, tell, talk a little bit about your video last week you took at the Crawford Packaging. Okay, so I always say that, uh, I always make fun of just, I just like to make fun of Jordan. Um, but uh, I had to do my Bellator predictions on a short video. Horrible, but doesn't even tell, doesn't even call me, man. Didn't even let me in on the action. But that's fine, no problem. But I went up to Jordan. I'm like, I kind of wanted to show Jordan's face randomly because you don't really so see him too much. Funny, bro. I laughed so hard. And he was just like, "What the fuck?" What I work? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But uh, he was working hard that day. He was stacking those boxes. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. He was getting his workout. He might have lost a couple pounds. And that is pretty much it for the Bellator and the Hurd Williams fight. Let's talk about the announcements. Oh, we'll the do fight that announcements. Oh, let's do UFC first. All right. So we had UFC two three seven, aka UFC slump of Brazilian. Yeah, it's horrible for the Brazilians. They were this close to going over five. This close. So start at the beginning of the card. What do we got? BJ. Well, we had BJ Penn losing again. That's more of a skit now because you've seen it coming. What is that? Four in a row. Seven in a row. Oh, wow. And did he retire? Nope. Was it a uh, unanimous decision? How did he lose? No, he lost. Uh, unanimous, but he won the first round. He won the first round? Did he look good? Yeah, he looked good in the first round. Was he like, putting some combinations in? Yeah, there? he looked good in the first round. So Clay Guida got a win, eh? Yeah. Did he retire? No. 
Holy shit. Man, that pay-per-view was like watching... It's like four in his last five fights. It's, that was like watching something from 2009 or something. Yeah, that was, like, like, that it was, was been good back then. They probably all would have won back then. 100%. The thing is, like, Aldo's not old, though. Yeah, but he's old. Boxing for, for fighting, yeah. Uh, so BJ loses. He was the main event of the the prelims? No, he was the beginning of the prelims. The, oh, wow. Who was so the, next, he's going to be on the Facebook prelims. Ooh, who was the main event of the prelims? Was it even relevant? Nope. Not at all. I think okay. Sergio Moraes versus Warland Elvis. Next. <laughs> oh, what? Next. So they all, both lost to Cameroon, okay? okay. Um, and Brian Barbina lost to one. Um, they want, you want me to say it again? Continue on. Okay, and then the main card was uh, I didn't the first watch it. Taro. It was Bech Cohea. Bech Cohea fight? That no, no, sorry, Minotaro was the. Facebook prelims or oh, okay. uh, the main of card prelims. Okay. And he got knocked the fuck out in the first round. Oh my god. I think it was the second. Was it the first? I think it was the first. Yeah. Man, did you see his face? He's on the back? Yeah, he was a stiff board. It, was he 40 years old now? Yeah, 42, I think. Like, let's stop, man. Come on. Like, pride's gone. All right. Uh, not relevant. Nova and Yao isn't the gym it used to be. It's time. Let's move on. Find another hobby, man. Do some jujitsu tournaments or something. Just don't get hit by a truck again, like your brother and you. Man, that, he almost died from that. I don't know. That's oh my bad. Um, shout out to the Nagare brothers. Jesus. All right, we got the main card. We got Betch Gohair versus uh, uh fuck, who was it? Um, Just pull it up, man. Um, uh, but I know that Betch Gohair came overweight by uh seven pounds. Oh wow. She at least she got close, right? Um, I think that's a new division. It's, it's, it's the effort. Irene Aldana beat her. It's the effort that counts. By uh, first round submission, I love it. So, Kohei lost. Yeah. Good, fuck you. You came in overweight. Good I can't stand point. that girl in general. She, she was talking a lot of shit with Rousey, remember that? And then she yeah. got knocked out. If Rousey knocks you out, there's a problem. You should not be fighting. And in 30 so. seconds. Yeah, yikes. I don't know. So, who's this girl that beat her? Uh, Irene Aldana, but shout out to you because shout out you took to, the fight still. To Irene Aldana. What's her record? She is five and four. Um, Ten and four. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now is that one thirty five? Yeah, but she's coming off three wins, so. Alright. Um Yeah, not bad. Not too bad. Then we moved on to the Tiago Alves fight. Yes, and I didn't get to see much of it, but it looked like a good fight. But uh, I thought okay, I only saw the last round, but what I saw it looked like Tiago was winning that round. He lost uh thirty twenty seven. I I know, but I mean from crazy. the last round it looked like he was winning. He Who? should retire anyway. Who was he fighting? He was fighting Loriano Starpoli. Okay, he's got a, maybe he's got a future in the sport. Who knows? But Tiago Alves is apparently quite the coach over there at American Top Team. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got a good job. There's no reason for him to keep fighting. That's true. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Jose Aldo. I think we got a new contender. I thought this was going to be fight of the card, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Aldo just didn't want to fight. What happened, man? He didn't do anything. He yeah. just think he stayed in his guard and just... Defensive, defense, like his defense looked great. Yeah, slipping everything, but there's nothing coming back. No return fire. Just couldn't shoot it. He got held against the cage in the third round. And just got kneed in the thigh, like for like half of the round. Like it's like, bro, like move. I don't understand. You're he took strong. He didn't take any damage that fight, but he didn't do anything. Yeah, uh, pretty bad performance, I think. But Volkanovski doesn't look great coming off of that either. But he did beat Jose Aldo, so like, yeah. there's something to be said about that. Yeah, I think we and Chad Mendes. Yeah. So then Brian Ortega, fight announcement, is uh, taking on Zabit. Yeah. I think number two and number five or something. Yeah. And then we got a... Uh, so who do you... Who, so I think the winner of that... You could always give um, Volkanovski Edgar. Okay, but is the winner of the Ortega-Zabit fight or is Volkanovski get the next title shot? Who gets the next title shot? I think they're going to give it to Edgar next, really. Okay. But you're going to get Volkanovski versus... The winner of yeah. Zabit and Ortega? Or he might wait out. Because he kind of deserves it. If you beat Jose, you kind of... I think Ortega and Zabit both kick his ass, to be honest. He should beat Zabit knowing how lanky he is, Brian Ortega. He could kind of grab him at anywhere. I'm just... I, I don't see if Volkanovski can beat Zabit or Ortega. No, Max Holloway. No. I don't see any of them beating Max Holloway. Unless he's damaged goods from the diamonds. You know? Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, then we got Jared Cannonier versus Anderson Silva. I told you Cannonier was going to knock him out. Now, did we think it was going to go down to a fucking knee kick? No. 
Anderson is retired. What was the second round? First round. The Anderson Silva was taken. Maybe it was the second. Was it was che- first round. Was checking kicks all night or not checking kicks? Either way, he was getting hit with kicks. And then an inside leg kick. And he right? said that's what he was going to do too all week. Cannon here? Yeah. Hit him with an inside leg kick right on the knee. If you can't yeah, see, right popped. there. And Anderson went down in pain. And then he continued to fight. Yeah. And, and he's like, fuck it. Yeah. It was a weird, it was weird. Well, the, I've yeah. never heard fans boo a guy like that before. And he just, yeah, it was kind of hard how he just stood there. He was just like, just waiting it out. But like, for sure don't boo the man. Like, he's there doing his job. And he won. It's not his fault that... It's not like he said anything disrespectful. 100%. He, he's like, he was like happy to be there. It's not his fault that your Brazilian legend is Coach. a shell of him for himself. A shell? Is that even the word? He's a fucking shell, man. These guy is like... He's Anderson Silva in name only, not in the way he fights. No, he doesn't even throw punches. It's uh, it's honestly... It's it's a shame to watch. Like He's doing what Roy Jones did for the last like 10 years of his career. Yeah. Just catching L's from guys that he should never even be in the octagon with. Like, like can you imagine a prime Anderson Silva? If, if they announce him versus J- Cannoneer, they're like, what? They'd be like, why are we doing this fight? Why are we murdering him? It's a squash match. Yeah. It, it's like uh, it, Goldberg coming out and just spearing and again. And it sucks because it's like you're seeing all these people that probably just get into UFC and they're like, this is the guy that we were talking about. You know what I mean? It's so bad. Like man. if little kids or kids that are getting yeah, into it, they're like, and we're like, man, this guy's a shit. And then you're like, well, he just got kicked in the first round. And kids that are born like after 2000 or 2000 and after, they don't know the spider like that we know the spider, you know? Yeah. They don't know that guy who front kicked the Vitor Belfort in the face. Or came back after five rounds and beat Chael Chael on steroids. On steroids. And Vitor's probably on all the juice, too, to be honest. Oh, and, uh, like, he was impressive. The Rich Franklin knees. He doesn't even do Muay Thai anymore. Or he just, like, disrespected Damian Maia the entire fight. Just did nothing. Or grabbed Nate Marquardt's leg and popped him one. Punched four Griffin. Knocked out four four Griffin going backwards with a jab. jab. Like, this guy was... Different level, man. Oh, man. The spider. This is something you didn't think of him losing. Can we just put him in there against like Bart Simpson, get him a win, and then he retire? Like just some, just some can. Like who should he beat right now? Bring in that dude that uh, Jake Hager just fought. That guy. Bring him in. I think he might beat him. No way. Let Anderson Silva just look like Anderson Silva of old, like a video game knockout, like a Donald, like Donald Cerrone, like body. You know that knockout Donald Cerrone had the three punch comics? Just some video game knockout. Anderson looks nice, and then just. Finish him, Mortal Kombat style, and then we're good. He can retire. Like, what was his last impressive win? Stefan Bonner. Not Brunson. Is it Stefan Bonner? That was his last impressive win. And Stefan Bonner sucks. Wow. Do you remember that fight? I do remember that fight. And when the knee does the solar plex? Yeah. And he, you could tell he's looking old there, too. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to move on past this, because this makes me mad. I don't know. Sad. Main event time. Just Contraj versus Rose Damiunas. Rose. Rose looked amazing. Best she's ever looked, hands down. Holy, her, her hands, her slips, her feet. Her pretty face. I mean, her what? smile. Her smile. Her, her eyes. Her smooth shaved head. Looking like an extraterrestrial. I'm going to put some lotion on that shit. Okay, this is getting strange. Bite Brady always goes to the next level, you know? Veggies and fruits, buddy. Veggies and fruits. Um, But yeah, she, uh, she looked amazing. I would have gave that a 10-8 in the first possible and she busted her eye up pretty bad too defended some big yeah. takedowns but let's talk about the takedown in the second round be careful at the table <laughs> um yeah she got rampage slammed man Andrade was getting fed right straight shots all night one twos one twos one twos takedowns getting defended gets in the clinch grabs her by the legs rose went for an arm bar yeah and didn't let go when she got lifted up and it still didn't let go on the way down, and bang, neck first off of the mat, and I thought she broke her neck. Yeah, that's all she wrote. It was bad. Did Andrade punch her after that? No. It was done? No, it was done. Jesus. It was so, like, I was in shock, man. You lose a fight that you barely took a punch. A slam. She, if you saw her, did you, saw her, did you watch the post fight? No. Man. She, she doesn't even want to fight anymore. She was literally, like, no marks on her face, nothing. Yeah. It was weird, man. And yeah, she... May have retired. If she did retire, good for her. Twenty six yeah. years old, got in the sport, did the is hit the pinnacle, reached as high as you can get, won the belt, defended it against the long time reigning champion, went to a, the enemy territory, fought the Brazilian in Brazil, mm-hmm. looked great in doing it. 
I mean, end of the day, you know it's a better fight. Hundred percent. If they run it back, I think Rose whoops their ass. Oh yeah, and for sure. for sure, do the next one in the state. That was bullshit. It's not right. Why is a champ traveling to Brazil? Yeah, it was pretty bullshit. I was very disappointed in the Brazilian fans, man. Oh, they're really disrespectful. They come to your home. They come. They, people are coming to you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the champ is coming to you with her belt, and you're gonna disrespect these people. It, they're putting their lives on the line. You gotta show some some class, man. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't like that. Just because they beat you. Like, Brazils are not good at adapting. I've always said that as fighters. They just stick to what they know. It's like jiu-jitsu Muay Thai. That's it. Yeah, it's horrible. It's like that high Thai guard. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Jose Aldo's special. Yeah. Um, That's pretty much it for the UFC. All right. We got fight announcements. Since Brady missed one last week, you know, we'll announce it a week late. That's fine. Sorry, guys. But I'm here to fix, save the day. One. Stipe versus Cormier 2. Okay. And a stacked card. With the co-main event. What's the co-main event? Just got announced. Is it the Pettis fight? Yeah. Oof. Diaz versus Pettis is the co-main? Yeah. They're, because you don't know why they're stacking that? Because the Steve Bay Cormier one didn't do well sales. It was like under 300000 I think. Well, I was told, too, that they want to stack a big pay-per-view, so uh, Cormier gets paid on pay-per-view points. Because he was supposed to fight Lesnar? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And then... Uh, it also has Romero versus um, Policasta. As the third fight? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. What a, that is an insane card. Yeah, it's getting pretty good. Um, so then who, and there's a couple other fighters. It's at Welterweight, though. It's at Welterweight? Yeah. Okay. We have uh, um, Eddie Pacquiao is fighting Keith, Keith Thurman. Thurman in, Amazing. Was that July? Yeah. July 20th, I think. No, August no, is it July? It's July. It's definitely July. Okay. Uh, July 20th. I'm trying to pull up some ESPN cards. That is going to be a great fight. Yeah. Uh, you got the eight-time champ versus the undefeated WBA champ. I'm, I'm all for it. Let's see how that goes. Then you're going to have uh, Thurman's probably going to take on... Sorry, Spence is going to take on Porter. So then those two will... The fight. The winners of those two And then Kel Brook and Thurman will probably fight. Kel Brook and Crawford. Crawford, fuck. Yeah. So then you got a little round robin action going on. There should be a unified champion by the end of the next year. Yeah. You heard it here first. Gilbert Melendez is back at Featherweight. Taking on who? Arnold Allen. I actually like Arnold Allen. He's a good guy. He was on a podcast with uh, Brendan Shaw one day. Was he? Or he was either one of the podcasts, but he seems pretty sweet. Lives in his mom's house. Just fights for the fun of it. Oh, shit. Tony yeah. Ferguson is back from all of the issues. And he's finding a dangerous fight. Guy coming off of crazy wins right now. Street I don't rolling. think he'll beat uh, Tony. Um, so who you got? Cowboy or you got oh, El Cowboy. Kakui? Cowboy. I got Tony. Really? This is the first time in like four fights I'm I'm going against Cowboy. We'll see. But we'll depends see. what how, how much of uh, vintage Tony comes back. That's true. It's going to be interesting. Um, there's no roads for him to run across. Let's not forget sure that Tony fought six months post- Knee surgery on an ACL repair and beat Anthony Pettis. That's insane. That is insane. Yeah, but the fight should have won. I wish. I wish that fight would have happened again. It was, it was crazy. It was an amazing fight. Uh, you probably don't know who this is, but Matt Wyman. Matt Weidman? Wyman. No. He, he fought in the USC's 15 times. Okay. And he retired five years ago. He's back. He's fighting uh, Luis Pena. Pena. Okay, I don't know who that is either. Remember that fucking guy with the freaking curly hair, skinny? Oh, the the weight bully. Yes, yeah, the weight bully. The, 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 the Brazilian Jesus. He's going to lightweight The now. weight bully. Fuck that guy, man. Um, they're trying to stack up UFC 238 a little bit more, so we got that Tony Ferguson fight, uh, but it's looking pretty shit. It, the main event's Cejudo versus Marias, right? Yeah, and then we got uh, Calvin Cater versus Ricardo Lamas. Cater's a beast. That's, he'll probably smash Lamas. Yeah. And then we got Eddie Wineland back. I like Wineland, man. Uh, um, was that any other fight announcements? I think it's it for this announcements. Is. There's a card this weekend, right? Yeah, there is uh, Kevin Lee versus Rafael Dos Santos oh, at Welterweight. Shit. Okay. Which I got Kevin Lee just uh, destroyed. So that's Kevin Lee's Welterweight debut? Yeah. Man, these 155ers are coming up and just stealing the show at Welterweight. Oh, it's bad. That Who got Pettis? Did it. Cerrone did it. Who else went up? No, well, Kevin Lee and Dos Santos did it. Lee, Dos Santos. They, now they're the main welterweights. Um, but there was someone else that did it just before. Oh, um, Masvidal did it. Masvidal did it. They're just tearing these guys yeah. apart. It's showing that welterweight's not that like talented in a bit. Yeah. Or lightweight's is so talented that yeah. these Dude. guys can fuck people up. Because it's like the main weight for a man. Cut down. 155? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I got 
Kevin Lee by decision. I'm gonna go third round TKO. I got decision. I think he's gonna come in strong. It's gonna be a big Brady. Big oh. Stop, man. No, yeah. Oh yeah, fuck. No kicking. Holy shit. He's gonna be look like the little Hulk at 170. Yeah, man. he'll he, look big. You know he cuts like he said he gets down to like two or three percent body fat and he's like 168 pounds and then he has to like just like drain Water himself hurt. 13. Yeah, messed up. Like Jesus. Neil Magny's fighting Vincent Luik. Next. Maggie, Megan Anderson's back. I didn't even realize. Hey. Oh, she did, her last fight was just Kaggett. She's Donovan. fighting the featherweight um, champion right now in Vista, uh, Felicia Spencer. Did Invicta fighters just go back and forth through Invicta? And yeah. Team? yeah. Well, they're trying to build up the featherweight. Yeah. I like Megan Anderson a lot. She's to be sexy. But, um, yeah. How tall is she? She's like 6'2". Jesus. She'd be crawling. She's a big girl. She'd be like... Oh my god. Um, um what other cards have we got this weekend? We got Charles Oliveira versus Nick Lance three. That's the epic trilogy right there. You got there. that that should be the main event. Oh man. Holy frick, and he's beat him twice. What other <sighs> cards do we have going on this weekend? That's week? it. Except uh boxing we have uh Dante Wilder. Oh yeah, you can, you can pull the other I'll, I'll talk about the fight while you pull the other cards. So at Barclays Center this Saturday you got the WBC heavyweight champ. Pull up the other cards. Brady, no, I did. Billy Joe Saunders. Taking on Deontay Wilder. Taking on Dominic Brazil. So there's a lot of animosity in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, Deontay's little brother and Brazil got into a fight in a hotel lobby. Because they both were fighting on the Wilder undercard. Um, I think Wilder gets it done in seven. Next. You're not even going to pick? I care less. You're not even going to pick. Oh, my God. This is the beginning of the summer of heavyweights. We got this. Then we were supposed to have the Usyk fight, but he pulled out because of injury. Then we got Joshua, and then we got Fury. It's All right. We got uh, Wilder by decision round. Or not decision. Knockout round three. Ooh, third round knockout. Brazil, you're going home early. Hey, look what he did to uh, Bernard. Uh, Stavern. 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 He's going to get Stavern? Yeah. Um, That's what happens when you're padded on a record. Well, like, if you get him to 50, you know, can he say he's as good as Floyd? Nah, the, the level of competition he fought is not even close That's what to I mean. Floyd. No. His only, like, notable wins are Ortiz, and he had a draw, a draw that against he lost. Tyson Fury. Yeah. And, uh, well, and Kubrat. He didn't fight Pula. Oh, fuck. He no, didn't he even fight Pula? He was supposed to fight Povetkin. He pulled out from steroids. He's supposed to fight some other guy. He pulled out from steroids. He beat uh, Stiffer twice. He was a solid heavyweight at the time that he beat him. Former champ. Former champ. That's pretty much it. He hasn't really been much. No. But none of them really have. Uh, Fury. Joshua's been fought the best. Klitschko. And then Parker would be a second. Tackum. Tackum, yeah. He's got um, to, oh, Pavekin. Dylan White. Dylan White. Yeah, he's fought some yeah, monsters. So Dil- Dylan White's resume is insane. Like, Joseph Parker, Pavetkin, Carlos Tackum, Klitschko, Eric Molina's decent. True. Charles like Martin Dylan was a champ. Dominic Brazil. Pull up... Um, Pull, pull up uh, Dylan White's resume. Go down. He's right there. This guy's resume is ridiculous. Yeah. And why is this guy not getting a tail shot? I have no Oscar idea. Oscar Rivas. He's, next fight is Oscar Rivas, who's undefeated. Derek Chazura twice. Joseph Parker. Undefeated Lucas Brown. Um, keep going. David Allen. Anthony Joshua. He lost to Joshua, but he fought him and he hurt him bad. This guy's resume is ridiculous. Let's get this guy a title shot. He deserves to be in there, in the mix. He's defending the silver and uh, international heavyweight title. Oh my god, it's pathetic. Who is the IBO heavyweight? I don't know. I didn't even know about the IBO, man. I don't know. Like, does IBO matter? No, it's like, it's, it's cool like, to have. It's just like, you know. Like, if you want to be happy. Yeah, it's like, but like, it doesn't, you're not, you, you still, you can still fight 10 round fights if you have the IBO, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. You're not a champ. No. So, well, you are, I who's guess. your Billy Joe fighting? Sure, frat? Lusafi. Sure, frat. Lusafi. <laughs> uh, pull up on Box Rec. I think, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, WBO Super Middleweight Championship. And he doesn't have a Wikipedia page? Oh, man. Billy Joe. Like, why? who are you fighting? Do you think he'd be Canelo? Billy? Yeah. I think he would give him a, a tough fight because Canelo has a tough time with dudes that have great boxing ability. 27-2? 27-2. 27-3-2. Um, Let's interim boxing world organization. Super. Okay, so what happened was Gilberto Ramirez 
is the WBO super mil- super middleweight champ and moved up to light heavyweight and said he was mm-hmm. going to vacate his title, but then he backed out and said, no, I'm not vacating it. So they had to make this fight an interim title fight because they were going to fight for the actual title. Interim but suck and is like the worst feeling in boxing. Eh? How can you have an interim title when there's so many other titles? What's, what's the difference between having an interim title in boxing and MMA? It's the same thing. You're a fake champ. Mm, because you're adding more titles to a when there's already a million titles. Brady. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Slap yeah. me if you're bad. I'm not touching your dirty fucking leg. You like the short shorts? But yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's true. You're already you're adding more titles to Like it. I look at Pori kind of as a champ. Depends on the interim I don't know. I look at like What about Ferguson? He was the champ then interim. I do look at I, I still think he was the lightweight champ in a way. Um because he never lost and he was he was like I don't know. Okay, so if Billy Joe wins this belt, which he's a good chance he's going to, then what? Is he not the champ? It, yeah, it's a yes. He's not, or yes, he yes, is. Yes, he is. I think it depends on the situation. Depends who you beat for the belt. Like the thing with Khabib is like he didn't win the belt from Ala Quinta. That's kind of like a gimme belt. Well, not a gimme belt, but it was a day notice. It was. A, it shouldn't have been a title fight. No, he should have waited for Connor. Because Quinta was was trained for three round fight. Um, and he looked good. Yeah. Um, it depends on the situation. Like. For example, like, uh, why is the middle... Uh, Israel should not be a middleweight champion, I don't think. No? He's not the real champ. Well, no, he's not the real champ, but why shouldn't he be the champ? The, guy, the champ's hurt. Name an interim title that you think of that he isn't the real champ. Actually, perfect, Kobe Covington. What about him? Was he a champ? No. See, he was interim champ. Right. But, like, I'm saying there's different types of interim champs that you actually consider a champ on the... It's situational. Situation. Like, yeah. perfect Carlos Condit. GSP was out for two years. Legitimate. Yeah, legitimate. Like, how champ. wasn't he the champ? Yeah. Or, um, what's his name? Uh, that Brazilian, uh, didn't lose for like 10 years. Hedden Burrell. Uh, yeah. Real. Or, uh, even Shane Carwin, if you go back, because he was out for, or, uh, Lesnar was out for what? Yeah. How long with Tiff Tilly? I did. Yeah. But then there's like, Jamal Charlo is the WBC interim champ because they just did that and, Canelo has the actual title. Like, you're not the actual champ, but Canelo's the champ. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's weird. Like, strip that fucking guy. Especially when you have an interim champ and you don't even know if you could actually fight the... Yeah, because he's on a different network. Exactly. It's, it's like him be Like, we've made this comparison many times. If you fight on Fox, PBC, and you fight on DAZN, it's like being in Bellator and being in, in the UFC. Mm. You're not going to fight. It's not going to happen. So there's not, no reason to even talk about it. But, yeah, I think Billy Joe gets done this weekend. He's going to look great, and then he's going to be back in the mix. He's going to go back down to middleweight. I'm going to uh, double-check that there's no Bellators this week. I think it is in two weeks. And we're getting Horiguchi on Bellator, which I'm stoked for. But to answer your question, I don't think... No, it's uh, June 22nd. I don't think uh, Billy Joe Saunders would beat Canelo. He can't do enough damage to him. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. I hate Canelo. We already know this. Mr. 51 and 1. Should have brought the bandana. Every time yeah, Canelo yeah. fights, the, the, the little uh, Liberace music is coming out. I respect that, George. Keep that shit up. That was good. Um, Ari asked me in the podcast. Yeah? Yeah. Anything yeah. else you want to add? No. Eat your vegetables. Say your prayers. Take your vitamins. Drink your beers. Go so, to the gym. Don't be like the guy who fought Jack Hager. Like our videos. Share them with your sister. Share them with your mom. Show Brady's pretty face. And the yeah. short shorts. Uh, sure, show. The, the nut girth. The butt looking nice. Do a little twerk. How dare you. How dare you do that to our viewers and subscribers. Oh, why? If you guys want to unsubscribe because of him, it's fine. I'll replace him. <laughs> Let me know. Let us know. With Reese? All right. We're out, fellas. All right. Bye. Peace.